Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all of my April monthly favorites. I'm excited for this month's favorite because I have a lot of skincare, tanning, um, hair care for like the spring and the summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' monthly favorites are and let's get right into it. Let's start with skin first. Um, and when I say skin, I mean like body, not my face. So I have been self tanning now that it is summer and it's shorts and t-shirt season. And the one thing that I like to use weekly to get like my base tan is the same Tropez bronzing mousse. This stuff's so easy to apply after you shower, exfoliate, um, shave, and after that you go in and just put this on, sleep, wake up, take a shower, and you're good to go. So I like this to use weekly. So because I have such dry skin, my self tanner doesn't really fully last. Like I'll get some patchiness um, after about a week. So I like to use a gradual self tanner throughout the week to kind of maintain the tan. Um, and it also darkens it up a little bit too. But I have been really liking the Nivea Sun Kissed Radiant Gradual Tanner and Botting Lotion. I got the medium to dark skin because I was thinking after I already finished with my so St. Tropez, it was kind of a medium. Um, and I really like the shade that this comes out as. I wouldn't say it's necessarily orange, but it's more of like this golden glow. It's beautiful. It helps me a lot too because a lot of my self tanner fades on my neck and my chest and then it starts to look a little weird. This, like throughout the week, just maintains everything so beautifully. Absolutely love this. It does not stink and it's a really nice moisturizer. So I like to use this every morning and then at night after I shower, um, I like to use a thicker moisturizer too to kind of help with my dry skin. So my tanner lasts a little bit longer and nicer too. And one of my all time favorites is the Nivea cream. Looks like this. I love this product. I go through about a tub of these every two months. It's a really good lotion to put on your dryer pack um patches before you go in with your self tanner so that way they're not darker than the rest of your body it's a great just like boost i absolutely love this hand cream whatever you need this is the best um but that takes a little bit longer to apply and absorb so sometimes i'll go through with, with the nivea essentially enriched body lotion um dry to very dry skin this is like a liquid version of this both of them together all three of them together I love them they, they really help with my dry skin so i don't know if you guys know or not but i have naturally curly hair in my last video my lookbook video i had just showered that morning so that was my natural curls and i need a product that when i get out of the shower i can put into it that helps boost my curls but doesn't make my hair look greasy or crunchy and that also helps with the frizz and i finally found the perfect product for that it's by got to be it's their beach trippin salt infused waving spray this stuff is amazing we had just gone to california um san diego and after swimming all day going to the beach and i, I didn't do anything <laughs> i didn't wash it afterwards all i did was put this in it and my hair was was absolutely perfect and i don't get like pretty beach hair i get like flat frizz nasty beach hair and this make it look like I got beautiful beach hair. Absolutely love this product. I use it all the time. It's also really good if after you've styled your hair and you like straightened or curled and you don't like how smooth it is or how it's like proper it looks and you wanted to piece it up a little bit, this spray and dry hair too is absolutely awesome. Um, just be a little bit more careful when you're spraying it in your dry hair than wet hair because I have gone a little bit overboard with it. Um, my next hair care product is still from got to be but it's their powerful volumizing styling powder I mentioned this like a few years ago when I did my Victoria's Secret wavy hair tutorial I absolutely love this product I have really fine flat hair so I need a lot of help in order to get some volume especially on like the first two days or the the two days after washing my hair it just needs help with the volume so i absolutely love this product it also is really nice about helping you hold a style like a braid or a ponytail or whatever you're doing in the hair um, just make sure to wash it out really well the rest of my favorites are all makeup related and the first one is a primer this is the spackle under makeup primer so this is the original i know i have mentioned before the hydrating moisturizing one um this is just i think the original the not so moisturizing one now that it's summer and my skin too is kind of changing more i'm getting a little bit more oily so that one made me too shiny throughout the day but this one gives me a nice moisturized base but still helping with my oil control i feel like i just get a little bit in my t-zone i don't think i'm anything too crazy so if you're super oily i'm not sure about this one but i really like it for like kind of drier out here a little bit more oily in the center it works 
great. I have also found the perfect setting powder, under eye highlighting powder that my skin has ever loved. It's from Hourglass. It's their ambient lighting powder. Ethereal light, I believe is how you pronounce it. It looks like this. It's kind of like a translucent ambient. Like that is the perfect word. Like after you set your face, it looks matte, but it looks glowing not like a shimmery highlighter or all over shimmer highlight just a, a beautiful glow it's really hard to explain but i absolutely love this i get really bad one creased line right in here and after i conceal i go in with my beauty sponge set my under eye and then a brush again with this stuff to set that and it doesn't make them look like creepy or there's too much powder but it also helps control the creases so i absolutely love this product beautiful for the summer too because i don't like a matte face in the summer but like i was saying i'm getting more oily so i needed something and i feel like this gives you the perfect amount of not too matte not too shiny finish to your skin these two products are both from mac and both cheek products the first one is max global glow i have been using this product for months i absolutely love the golden finish that it gives on your cheeks here it is now i will say now that i have a a better tan going on it looks a lot better than my pale skin but i still absolutely love this i am wearing it as my bronzer today and then the other one is a blush so this is max margin this is the perfect shade blush if you're doing like a cool eye or a warm tone or you like today i'm wearing it as a blush and i didn't want something cool because i had my warm eyes but i didn't want something like overpowering for the rest of my face and i always reach for this blush when i just need the perfect blush for any look um, like I was saying, I was wearing, I'm wearing it today, but here's kind of what it looks like swatched out. It's not completely matte. It gives your skin like the most beautiful finish ever. I absolutely love this stuff. My next favorite is a lip product. Again, I am wearing this one today. This is Jordana's lip liner in the shade Rose Crush. I needed a perfect nude peach. And I really like to use lip liners because they're nice and matte and then just put a gloss over it. That way I kind of get some form to my lips. I don't have the best luck with lipstick, so that's kind of hit or miss. So I've been really enjoying lip liners more recently. And this shade is like your lips, but peacher. It's, it's gorgeous. I love it. And I really like the Jordana lip liners because they're subtle and easy to work with. They're not too drying where they like drag across your lip or it just looks dry and cranky, like cracky, crepey around the lip so i really like this formula because it's the opposite of that super creamy easy to apply i know i'm late to the bandwagon on this one and i really want to go out and get her face palette now but i finally picked up the kat von d shade and light eye palette i don't know why it took me so long to get this one when i went to go buy my lancome auto city in paris palette i was debating between that one and this one last time and i don't know why that one had won but I've wanted this for so long and for some reason I always passed it up. But I'm so glad I finally went out and got it because it is gorgeous. Every single shade in here is absolutely beautiful. So when I picked it up, they had like categorized like three different little eyeshadow quads. And I think now her newer ones are kind of set up that way. This is just like a palette with three of them. Um, but there is the neutral quad, cool tone quad, warm tone quad. All of these eyeshadows are beautiful. They're so pigmented, so easy to blend out. I don't think I've ever used an eyeshadow as good as these. Like I like the, my Bobbi Brown eyeshadows and my Laura Mercier. They're just, they're, they're beautiful. And I never thought that I would say that over my Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, but these are so easy to work with, especially because like some of these colors can be more difficult to work with. I feel like um, in other products, like sometimes this like nude kind of color and the light kind of colors, they just come off weird and chalky. Mm -mm, none of these. Um, I will say too they're a little bit better than the Stila ones just saying I love it I really want to go out and pick up the face contour palette um, so yeah oh mm, one more favorite so I'm wearing them today they're my eyelashes and I know I mentioned before that I had found my perfect lash well that was my perfect dramatic lash this is my perfect everyday freaking obsessed with these lashes so they're Adele Glamour um, 102 Demis. I don't know which one it is. If it's just a Glamour or if you need that number. There's so many different ones. But I didn't even have to trim them to fit my eye. That's how perfect they are. I have really short eyes, so generally I have to chop off like half the lash. These, they fit without me even trimming them. 
They have the clear band so they're easier to apply and they have like the little piecey parts of the eyelashes. I just love them. And I've had people like think that they're my natural lashes too, which I think is hilarious because I'm like, <laughs> no, <laughs> but I don't know. I love these. If you have kind of my similar eye shape, you might love them too. That is all my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Again, let me know what you think of my favorites down below. Let me know about any of your favorites. Like this video. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. I'll put that link down below in the description box. But I also got a Snapchat, which is really fun. And I'm still getting better at how to figure it out. Like it took me the longest time how to figure out to film with a filter on your face because there's no button. So let me know if there's an easier way than just like holding the volume button on the side because it takes forever and then starts recording me in the halfway. But anyways, I'm on Snapchat, follow me, I'll follow you guys. Um, I'll list that down below. I tried to figure out how to link it and I quite haven't done that yet, but I'll list my name down below. It's the same as my Instagram. Everything's just CKTarsitano1. Um, anyways, enough chit chat. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.